A family struck by sorrow, now stuck with an unbelievable bill. They took it at my mother's funeral. I, you know, it's the words just escaped me. Traffic tickets leaving them seeing red. That funeral procession had a police escort. But to the red light cameras, they were nothing but reckless drivers. Now the Furious family is calling Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. It is a day many of us have been through. It is a day Pedro Dominguez will never forget. That day is just reminiscing about a wonderful life with my mom and, you know, what a wonderful lady she was and how much she loved us. On that day in May, Pedro buried his mother. Now a month later, he's in a battle over her funeral procession. In the funeral procession on the way to the park, we got red light camera tickets from the city of Opalaca. Take a look at the videos. You can see the red light cameras flashing as the funeral procession goes through 135th Street and 27th Avenue in Opalaca. You may have also noticed the three police officers the family hired stopping traffic for the procession. You can see my mom's hearse, the limo, going through the red light at the officer's advisement. You know, he's, he's leading us through the red light. The limo with some family members got a $158 ticket. Pedro got a $158 ticket. At least three other cars got tickets. Tickets signed by an Opalaka police officer who left his badge number. They took it at my mother's funeral. I, you know, it's, the words just escaped me. Pedro then filed an appeal with American Traffic Solutions, the Arizona company that runs the cameras. They denied his appeal. The affidavit of non-responsibility did not establish an exemption and will not result in a dismissal or transfer of the violation at this time. Pedro says anyone who watches the tape can clearly see the officer in the middle of the intersection stopping traffic. The officer at the top, on the right in the intersection. The police officer following the procession. Pedro says what's clear is no one watched the red light tapes. If a technician or a police officer had reviewed this, there's no way they would have sent this violation out. It's just plain as day. Obviously, it tells me that from the get-go, nobody really viewed these photos or video. No one looked at the tapes, or to be fair, looked at these tapes and somehow didn't see three police officers with flashing lights around the intersection. Pedro isn't buying that option. There's no way anybody looked at this, and that's what's upsetting. Upsetting, but Howard, is it legal to ticket cars going through a red light if a police officer allows you to go through the red light? You can drive through the red light if an officer waves you through. In fact, the law specifically mentions funeral processions being allowed through. In this case, more than one person did not do their job. When I spoke to American Traffic Solutions, the company that handles the red light cameras, a spokesman told me his company reviews each tape before they're forwarded to the government agency, that they did not make a mistake in this case, that the agreement with Opalaka requires them to forward any potential violations with an officer in the intersection to the city for review. Opalaka then told me an officer is supposed to look at every ticket, but that sometimes things slip through the cracks. The sergeant then looked at the tapes, told me the police officers were clearly visible on the tapes, the tickets should not have been issued, and were immediately dismissed. This shows that red light cameras are just a cash cow for the state and government agencies, because obviously they are not even reviewing some of the videos to see if the person is innocent or guilty. If you think there's any doubt about your ticket, fight it. Pedro is glad he fought the tickets and wonders if other people will come to the same conclusion that he has. Just sending that message to the media and the local governments and the citizens that th this red light camera is just ridiculous. Nobody reviews it. It's just about making money and it's, it's just ridiculous. Now the politicians say the red light cameras are not about cash. It's about making people safer. If you go by the people who call the Help Me Howard line, the only thing it's doing is making them angrier. And if you've got a violation that you think proves no one is watching the video, send it to your state legislator. They're the ones who approve the red light cameras.